Hey guys, welcome back to Wrecker, or if you're new here, my name is Monica, and on my channel I do anything, um, I do day in the lives, I do cleaning motivation, for the most part I just, I record anything I do, and that's what's on my channel, so if you're into that kind of thing, go ahead and subscribe. In today's video, um, this is the next day after a day that I was supposed to do all the stuff. And I was beating myself up about it. And then I realized, you know what? There's no sense in getting frustrated with yourself because you didn't have the energy on a certain day. So this morning I woke up and I told myself that it's fine. It, that was just my body's way of telling me that I need rest. Also, by the way, I am pregnant. But I have days like this even when I'm not pregnant. It's just a normal thing. Some days you just don't have the energy and it's okay. It doesn't matter how much coffee you drink. Sometimes you just can't do what you feel like you should do. And then you get frustrated with yourself and you feel lesser of a person. And it doesn't have to work like that. You can always start a new day. And if you already know that you're feeling overwhelmed, then that's fine. That can be your rest day. So I have a very messy room and there was just the wall behind me is what I was trying to work on today. I wanted to do one thing at a time because my bedroom's a mess. As you can see, there's a changing table with all kinds of baby stuff on it. I'm pregnant with a girl and I'm 36 and a half weeks pregnant. And so it's getting closer and I'm just overwhelmed with the bedroom. So what I told myself is that to start out on this wall, like little sections at a time, that way I don't feel overwhelmed and I told myself that first I'm just going to go through my clothes. I'm going to get rid of clothes so there isn't as many clothes. And I tell you what, I got rid of so much today. And if you guys need some motivation and if you're like me where you just need to do a little bit at a time and you're trying not to beat yourself up about it, then I would really love for you to subscribe to my channel because that is exactly how I am and I'm trying to learn that habit because it does not feel good when you feel bad for not getting everything done. No one's perfect. And for the most part, no one gets everything done. So maybe in YouTube land, but not in my YouTube land. <laughs> so thank you guys for watching and I hope you enjoy. So for Christmas last year, I got both my boys some of these like footy pajamas that look like this red one right here. And I was showing my oldest son, um, theirs were blue though, but I was showing my oldest son, Julian, he's 17. I was showing him, look, your little sister's going to have the same kind of pajamas as you, except red. And he's like, that's pretty cool. <laughs> he's like, maybe we can all have a sleepover. <laughs> So basically, I just want to clean up this little area. Like, I don't want the nightstand there, and I don't want this basket, so I'm trying to, like, I'm not sure if I'm going to go through everything right now, but I am just clearing the space. That's all I'm trying to do, like, a little bit at a time. Okay, so I just found something that I forgot I had, so I just wanted to show you guys real quick. It's so cute. Here is some more of um, the free stuff that that girl, Julie, gave to me and these are nice I mean they look brand new and they're old navy and then there's these little cute I like these ones a lot these little Minnie Mouse shoes and just like two pairs of pants and this um pajama set thing from Carter's this is funny because it's one of those zip up footy pajamas and both of my boys have blue ones just like this. So that's cute. She'll match. Oh, also, um, this little hat 
And then these two like teething ring things. Pretty cute. A long time ago I found this. It's Alex Rainbird Music on YouTube. And if you go to it, it has a different playlist. Like this is a two hour playlist. It has a different playlist for every month, every season. It'll say like up it'll say happy or road trip like it has a playlist for every single thing so if you guys want to go check it out in this bag here this is stuff that i'm not going to keep these are diapers that i had opened up and i thrown into a bag and all this stuff i'm going to keep and i just have to like sort it later and then i have an extra couple bags that i can use so earlier I was just emptying out the bags and everything to see what I was working with. And right now I'm going through this basket of clothes so I can just get rid of what I don't really wear. And then I will actually go through it a second time to rethink um, each item that I thought I wanted to keep. Okay, as you can see, I have a giant pile behind me. I'm pretty much done with that little side right there. I didn't clear it off. Um, I have one more basket to go through, but I'm actually going to go through my dresser really quick just to see like what I can get rid of. And I might actually go through that pile behind me once more and like rethink, you know, do I really need this, you know, or do I really want it? Do I even wear it? Sometimes you have to go through something more than once to actually make a good decision. So I'm going to do that real quick. Okay, so that bag is pretty dang full. Um, I'm going to go through the clothes on the bed again. Like, if I don't love it, I'm not going to keep it. I don't even care if I think I'll use it. Like, I only want pieces that I absolutely love. Like, I'm tired of having a bunch of clothes and feeling like I have nothing to wear. And the only reason for that ever is because you don't even like your clothes. <laughs> You just have all this stuff that you thought, oh, this will do for the moment. So I'm just going to keep what I really love. I have a thing for darkness. But you can see with your mind. Even when I have my doubts. You say your love isn't blind. So 
I can give you shelter But am I a part of your goals? Maybe none of it matters Cause I don't want to let go I never meant to break a promise I never meant to run away But you know how Okay, that's just crazy. I just filled another bag of stuff that I thought I wanted to keep. And I made quick decisions too. I mean, honestly, they're just clothes and things. But what is the point of keeping them if you don't actually love them, you know? So there's that. Okay, so real quick, I just emptied out the rest of this basket. It was just socks, some towels and things, um, little kitchen towels or whatever. So I just folded those real quick. And I will probably not go through this today, but I they're all clean. So there's extra socks. I'll probably throw that in the laundry room so I can match them up with socks as I do laundry. And I'm going to hang up whatever coats and stuff I have there and put the blankets and stuff up in the closet. And try to put the other stuff away back into my dresser now that there's more room. But you know how.
you feel less Steal all the gold you can get, you can get Show me your love, leave me breathless, breathless guys what I got done yesterday and then today I'm gonna start on like a part two and I'm just gonna add more decluttering videos because I have a ways to go and ultimately my goal is to set up everything for my daughter before she gets here because I just have a feeling that she's gonna come early and everyone keeps telling me girls come early and I don't know because I only have two boys. I have a 13 year old son and a 17 year old son. So I've been a boy mom for 17 years and you know I got pregnant. I I'm just I don't know. It's I'm really excited but I'm also nervous. You know I just I haven't had a kid in a long time and I don't know it's just a lot to process. But anyways, let me show you what I got done. Mister. Mister. What are you doing? Oh, you're going to ignore me. What are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> so I still have my little nightstand over here. Actually, I moved it and I was going to give it to my son, but he doesn't really want it. And also, we have, obviously, <laughs> things to take care of. I need an outlet cover there. So there's still a ways to go because I have all kinds of stuff to go through. But um, all the clothes and everything are organized. I hung up a bunch of stuff in the closet. And I went through my clothes and I have those two bags. And I'll probably go through my closet today. So you'll probably see that in a video coming up. But... I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you stay tuned and I really appreciate you guys sticking around to watch Wrecker and I can't wait to see you in my next one. Bye.